how to create a managed Kubernetes on AWS cloud, that's EKS, using a command line uh, utility, that's EKS CTL and AWS CLI, I'm going to cover in this video, where all you need to do is run these three commands. First, to create a cluster using EKS CTL. Then once cluster is created within 10, 15 minutes, verify the cluster. And finally, once you've tested the cluster or deployed your application, maybe delete with one command. All this in this video. Hi, this is Atul from team K21 Academy, where we help you in a journey to learn cloud and cloud native applications like Kubernetes, including deployment on cloud. Now, before I tell you how to create this Kubernetes cluster on AWS using command line, I'll give you some background and what all things you will need in order to create the same. So last week, I've created a step-by-step -step video on the same channel talking about how to create from a uh, the same thing from a GUI. So if you're not familiar with that, if you've not watched, I would highly recommend you to watch that video I've covered on part one gave you an overview of this whole cluster, how to do it from graphical user interface, so that once you understand the graphical user interface method, then you can do it from the command line. It becomes easy. If you've already gone through that, then you are at the right place. So in that video, on part one, I've covered overview. On part two, I covered how to create a master node. Then in part three, I covered how to configure a kubectl machine or a virtual machine on which will be installed AWS CLI kubectl or kubectl and ekctl. So I'm going to reference this today's video in that particular guide and I'll give you the background on why we need that machine. So if you watch that video, fine. If not, I will highly recommend you to go through the part three of the video, that three, five part video series that we did last week. I'll also put the link in the description below here and also a blog which will refer to that video. So this is the setup we are eventually going to do. So we have a, this is a whole AWS cloud. This machine represents a virtual machine that on which we installed AWS CLI and EKCTL and kubectl. And this is the machine which you have I've recommended on the part three of the previous video series. On that video three, we created this machine. I installed all the software and uh, I said, I'm going to use this machine in future when we do the command line or Whenever you need to create a instances or new Kubernetes instances, you can use that uh, machine. So that's what machine I'm going to use. So this machine, you should already have a virtual machine with AWS CLI, EKCTL and kubectl. Now from this command here, I'm going to fire a command or run a command called EKCTL, which will go and create this control plane as well as the worker node we call data plane as well. Now, this video is actually being taken from my training program where we teach about Kubernetes for architects, administrators, and developers. So you might hear some references about that program. So ignore those. And so first, I'm assuming you already have that VM. So once that VM is there with you, then I'll show you what all other parts that you need to do. That's basically chapter eight of this guide, uh, which is creating a EKS master and worker node verifying the master and worker node from the console as well as from GUI, setting up the kubectl configuration file, and then finally, once you've tested that Kubernetes cluster is ready, then deleting this cluster. Now, this guide, you can get it from the link in the description below, and I'll also put the URL below here where you're watching this. With that, let's see how to create this Kubernetes cluster using command line interface. So this is the machine EC2. I went to the EC2. Make sure you are in a region in which you selected. You might logged out in different region. So make sure you reason. And then if your instance is down, you might have a filter here, say instance up. So make sure that you go to instances here. And then there's no filter, which means your instance is visible here. State is, if your machine is down, you select that machine and instance state and say start the instance. Mine is already running. So I went into this machine here, click on this machine. And we saw this connect and we were able to connect or I'm able to connect here on this machine or the console here. Once this is done, these are the options here. So which I've already copy pasted this, you can copy paste this and change it as per your setup. So first is I'm saying EKS create cluster. And if you need to more know more about or understand these commands, what you can do is EKS CTL and then dash dash help. And like any other command line, you do help. And these are the options. You can deploy EKS anywhere. You can associate, you can create a delete. We are more interested in create. So I'll further say create. So this is create. And then what are the create specific commands? 
so then in create it says i can create add-on i can create cluster this is for fargate we saw earlier when we were doing previous one we can create a node group as well so i'm saying i want to create a cluster right now so i'll give further help with cluster and then what all options i get this with a node with this eks create cluster what are the options or features i have so i'm saying i'm creating a cluster now name of the cluster dash dash name if you look at here documentation name name or dash name is e class e case cluster name which is self explanatory dash version is which version of e case i'm deploying i'm earlier when we we're doing from console we were doing 1.24 now maybe by the time you watch this you have 1.25 or 1.26 being visible you can or available you can change it to 1.25 or 26 whatever is the latest supported kubernetes cluster available on eks this is the region on which geographical location you want to deploy this cluster we are doing it on everything on london you eu west 2 and then node group node group is we saw that node group is collection of a specific type of nodes so we are saying we are linux type of nodes and node type is my what is the shape of these machines or which is t2 micro and the vm shape that dictates how much memory and cpu you have on that machine and then finally we are going to use option called manage these are managed nodes which means uh, kubernetes or sorry aws will manage these commands and that's all i need to do so i copy paste this command we can go and look at the notepad on this section here and say managed so i'm going to select this and run this command paste and hit enter all it's doing is behind the scene what's if you if you read read out this document it basically explains i'm using eks version.127 and it's looking at setting up the availability zone these are the three subnets we saw when we were doing console we saw these three availability zones it's linux nodes and what it's doing is if you look at behind the scene it's using cloud formation so it's basically using deployment deploying stack stack is a component of cloud formation and cloud formation is a tool which is a or automation tool like Terraform, but for specific to the AWS, AWS, which is cloud formation. So I can go and check out cloud formation. If you type here cloud formation, it will, it, you will see that it's creating a stack, which will have all the components. Like it will create a VPC. We saw when we were doing GUI, it's, it was creating a lot of other components. It was, so we'll say EKS cluster. If you see now here, this was a stack. And stack with all the components it's saying it's creating that stack and what it's doing in events or resources what are resources creating so if you notice here let me see if i can make it slightly bigger and all those things it's doing uh, so it's basically creating vpc it's creating subnets there are three subnets it's creating it has also created a vpc gateway attachment it's created subnets route tables um, and internet gateway Control plane it's doing, creating our um, Kubernetes class control plane, etc., etc. So all those things it's doing. It'll take around 15-20 minutes to create this Kubernetes cluster. Once it's done, all we need to do is then verify the master and worker node status, or I can do it from the console as well. So while it's doing, let me go and create a check the cluster status from the console as well. We just saw from the background. One more thing we are going to see it here. So I'll type E case again. I highly recommend you that you have watched this, the previous, which is console EKS CTL browser based tool or EKS. So if you see now here, I'm on the EKS CTL, it's saying K29 EKS cluster CLI, it's creating 1.24. Now, if you go under compute, it has not yet created a node, so it probably should be creating the node first. So it's still doing this commands. So I'm going to pause this here. And then I'll come back again here uh, once these two, uh, once this is ready. So while we wait, I would like to invite you for a approximately two hours free class talking about Kubernetes containers and Docker, including certification. So if you are a complete beginner or already working on Kubernetes, but not certified or or looking for getting a higher paid job, register for this free class where I'm doing and bringing a Kubernetes expert to talk about Kubernetes 21 step roadmap. Check out by going to k20academy.com forward slash k8s02. We'll be giving a demo, hands-on lab that you must perform 
also how to get certified on as an administrator, developer, architect, or security professional. There'll be also question answers. You can post your questions there as well. So select the date and time convenient to you, enter your name, email address, and a phone number, optionally a phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. You'll get an email with access to this free class. With that, this is Atul. Let's get back onto the video now. So I've waited for around uh, 15, 20 minutes and I see now KubeCut, it says that Kubernetes, uh, your EKS cluster, which is, this is the cluster name, is ready in EU West 2 region, which is London region, it's ready. So once this is ready, I just want to verify the status. So I'll probably command, copy this command. And as I said, we do the verification, which is my UK West 2, which I've written, I think it's EU West 2, not UK. So I'll change to EU West 2. This is my cluster name status and let's go and verify that and if you say it's active one more thing i want to do is then i think because i already create use this machine onto the kubernetes for my previous cluster which was created using the console so this this already a configuration file the kubernetes configuration file i mentioned is stored here so we'll just go and check that kubernetes cluster configuration file so if I go to CD under user home, there's a hidden file called dot cube dot cube inside that there is a config file. So if I look open my config file, so it's date and LS minus L and this config file was updated probably around seven, eight minutes back. So that means the file was already updated. So I don't think I need to, up, I need to do anything on this. It looks like it's automatically updated this cube config on this particular folder where it's done. So if you are doing it on some different machine, then you might have to move, and if file already exists, you might have to move it and run it again, this command, which we see earlier, which was updating the cube config command. It looks like it's already there. So all I need to do is just go and validate the cube cuttle or get service command here. So let's see if I say cube cuttle, cube cuttle get SVC and it's getting the services and get notes. So I don't even need to do those cube update config. Uh, the create cluster command is already setting up this configuration file for me on this machine. I have two, two uh, worker nodes already on here. So that's pretty much completes this. Before I go further, in order to make sure that before you go forward, make sure that you take a screenshot of this and post it in our community. This will help me that you're performing this lab and it will also ensure that it will also inspire others to perform this lab. Now, before we final is we need to delete this cluster and for deleting the cluster, you will say EKCTL space delete space cluster and the name of the cluster and region in which this cluster was created. So in my case, delete cluster, name of the cluster, we already saw that and the region is UK West 2. Again, if you don't know or you need to identify, you can look at the the region name or region num code here. In this case, I'm in Europe, London, so EU West 2. And name of the cluster, we already created this cluster just now here. So I'm going to run this command and it will go and delete this cluster. So I'll say paste, hit enter. Now I'm getting a command saying that could not create a cluster provider from option checking stats. STS cannot get a role this. Okay, so it's unable to find this cluster. And I think I know the reason because there's no UK West. It should be instead of UK, it should be EU under dash West too. So there is a typo here and this is another good thing that it happened. So actual region name is EU West too. And this is how you probably pick up and learn things. So click on paste and then hit that command again. Now it's deleting this cluster. It's file found and it's basically deleting this cluster. Now, one final thing, once deletion is complete, I have to make sure that I shut down this EC2 instance, otherwise I can terminate the EC2 or I can stop it. I'm going to, I'm not going to terminate it. I'm going to stop it because in future I'll do some additional tasks like creating or deploying pods, using Helm to deploy packages, uh, creating configuring services and doing a lot more advanced things on this. So keep it down this machine, uh, this EC2. We're going to use this machine in future whenever I need to do any Kubernetes work all I need to do is run this command, single command to create a cluster, wait for probably 10, 15 minutes. My cluster is ready, do the work and then delete this cluster so that I don't get charged for this uh, or too much, even in free account, the charges are very minimal. I think 10, 15 cents per hour. 
So within a dollar, I can do the whole day work or under the dollar, I can do the whole day work. But make sure that you term terminate this cluster once done and then make sure you stop the VM one, once it's done. So just to show you how to stop it, this VM will go to the EC2 and then under EC2 instance running or EC2. So currently there are two running, I think it's three. It's terminating right now, so shutting down uh, other machines. So these two are the nodes, worker node that I, uh, or this cluster created. This is the one which is my client machine. I'll click on here and then instance state and I'll say stop instance. But let me first finish that and then I'll stop this. One final thing is if you hit any problem, make sure you watch and look into the troubleshooting section and, and any issues that we encounter will be reported in this guide. With that, this is Atul from Team K2 Academy and I'll see you in another video.